Welcome back to Travel Show Live. Your old buddy Eric Hastings here along with my good friend Alan Lauren. Thank Hello. you for coming back again this week. Thanks for having me. You look well rested. Yeah, yeah I've been sleeping since Tuesday. <laughs> it works out great. Yeah. <laughs> you got out of bed like a bear who was hibernating. You're up and ready to go. You're in the vacation situation. I climbed a tree. And, uh, I love that little report you do there. In the, in the, the, we can't say where it is. No, no, I, please don't, because I, I can be in trouble. Well, we kind of have fun with it, but those are real deals. That's they what are, I think are great. They're the realest deals. I mean, <laughs> the realest yeah, deals. No, they are. They are they're almost surreal. They're so good. <laughs> oh, they're, my. Dan Silver is here, fortunately, for all of us. Hello, Dan. Welcome to Travel Show Live, my friend. It's nice to have you here. Thank you very much, Eric. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on. And it is uh, worth noting that... Uh, now, what's your official title at the New York Racing Association? I'm the Director of Communications and Media Relations. Oh, well, my goodness, that sounds like a very official title over there. <laughs> yes, we keep things very official here at Saratoga. And you are based in, uh, in Saratoga, correct? Yeah, correct. For most of the year, I'm down in Long Island uh, near Belmont Park and Aqueduct Racetrack, our other two tracks. But uh, for the six weeks of summer camp, as we call it, I'm up here in uh, beautiful Saratoga Springs. Nice. Uh, and let's talk about that for just a little bit. For somebody that hasn't been up to Saratoga Springs before. Let's talk about that experience a little bit, shall we? Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a beautiful area uh, nestled in the heart of the Adirondacks with, with great springs up here. I mean, it's just a, it's a fantastic place to come up to. There's lakes to go to, and this is all outside of the actual racetrack experience, which is the best racetrack experience in the country and one of the best ones in the world. Well, uh, so yeah, I was going to ask much better. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, when you talk about that race course, I mean, that's... It's one of those courses that's um, it's hard to define because it doesn't look like all the rest of the race courses in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty unique place. Yeah, and you will get no argument from anyone in North America that this is the best race meet in the country. For six weeks, you know, we get the best horses, we get the best jockeys, we get the best trainers and the best owners, and they all ship up here to Saratoga for six weeks. Uh, the experience is unmatched here. One of the great things here is that after the race, the jockeys actually walk through the crowd to get back to the jockey room. Right. So you've got kids and people getting their autographs as they're walking back, and it's just such an immersive experience for the fans. It's fantastic. Well, it's true that up at Saratoga, you're getting as close to the horses as you, I mean, you're, you're right there. Exactly. The, uh, the paddock, the fans are right on top of the paddock. Uh, it's just a very intimate experience. Yeah, and, and then... Right across the street is the New York Racing Museum. Yep. The uh, Museum the Hall of Fame is right across the street. The induction ceremony was uh, last week. Bob Baffert was inducted this year, one of the many nominees, along with his now a great horse. Uh, and so you've got, you can just cross right over the street and see all the history uh, and lore of the American racetrack industry. And how about for the people that, that don't have a lot of interest in in racing, I know you talk to people who say, you know what, I don't have a lot of interest in racing, but I wanted to come up there and experience it for the first time. And they walk away going, wow, I had an amazing experience that I didn't anticipate. Do you hear that a lot? Yep, yep. we get that a lot. And the great part about Saratoga and Belmont's the same way is that we've got this beautiful backyard, lots of trees, lots of grassy areas, lots of picnic tables. And in the morning, fans can come in and they can uh, sort of put their stuff on the picnic table, and it's theirs for the day. And they can come in. It's three dollars to get in, so you could bring a family of five for fifteen dollars, wow. sit in the backyard at Saratoga on a picnic table with the trees, and just have a, a, a lovely picnic uh, at a great place. And for fifteen dollars, you can bring in your own food, you can bring in your own drinks. So you could come here and not even know that there's a race going on. Uh, of course, people always walk over to the paddock and they get into it. Right. Um, but but you could come here and just spend the afternoon in the uh, you know the picnic area in the backyard. Very good. The great Alan Lauren has a question for you, sir, if you don't mind, Mr. <laughs> Lauren. The floor is yours. Thank you, Dan. Uh, <laughs> this is Eric Stable Boy, Alan Lauren, and uh, <laughs> Dan. How long has this event been going on? How old is the track itself? I mean, this is an illustrious track with a rich heritage. How long are we talking yeah. here? I believe that it's about 141 years that Saratoga has been around. So we've been here for quite a long time. And yeah, I was going to say, and this event that's coming up, let's talk about that, a million dollars on August 29th, right? Yeah, it's called the Midsummer Derby. It's the Shadwell Traverse Stakes. It's a million dollars this Saturday. It's always one of the best races of the year. Uh, and this year we've got an extraordinary matchup that's going to be looming 
it, it, the last time that two winners of the Triple Crown races were in the Travers was 1991. Okay. This year, we're definitely going to have two of them, it looks like, with Mind That Bird, who won the Derby, and Summer Bird, who won the Belmont. We're, we've also got Quality Road, who set a track record in the Florida Derby and then came back here for trainer Todd Pletcher and set a track record in another race here. So those three are going to be going. Uh, and then, of course, the super filly, Rachel Alexander. We're not quite sure where she's going to be running yet. It right. uh, could, could be in the Travers. It could be the next weekend in the Woodward. There's a couple other options. But, but right now, we've got all the best horses in the country at Saratoga, and a number of them will be running in the Travers. Can we still get a hotel room uh, at this late date for the 29th? Yeah, absolutely. There's so many hotels in town that you call around, uh, there's definitely some that have some availability. Yeah, uh, that's one of the things that I've always loved about Saratoga is that on the number of trips that we've been up there, and we shot videos, if you want to go online to TravelShowLive.tv, you can uh, click the, uh, I think it's the video button at the top of the page, you can look for Saratoga. And make sure to do that because we went up there to, to determine, okay, we know about the race course, we've got to come up, even if we're not race fans, you still have to come up. And then what we discovered is the culinary experience you know, of course, the the spas with the. I mean, there's just a number of things and the lodging options. We've stayed in bed yeah. and breakfast and, and and whatever. Yeah, you know, I was just going to touch on the, the the town. The track is you know right basically in town, and it's it's a walk over to the downtown area. And there are you know uh, dozens of great restaurants, uh, great shopping. I mean, it's really. Uh, on the strip of Broadway, which goes north and south through town, you've got pretty much everything you need. Mm -hmm. And if you go downtown after a racing day, it's just a buzz with activity. Yeah, that's it, it is. A, it's a very special place. And that, when was the last time you were up there, Alan? It's been it's been it's been a few years. It's but I do have a question for Eric. Yeah, yeah. How are we getting up there in general? Oh, uh, that's a good question. You know what? That that how far is it from the city if we're driving? It's about three and a half hours. Yeah, I love it. and and oh, and Amtrak. You could take yep, Amtrak up there. They've got how long? That's not a very long Amtrak ride. No, right? probably about two hours. It goes right up that's to amazing. Albany, and then also there's a station in Saratoga Springs. Yeah, so it's and easy. we're only uh, we're about 25 minutes north of Albany. Nice. So if you if you wanted to you fly into Albany, rent a car, you know, drive over there, that'd be great. Dan, thanks for doing this today. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me on, Eric. All right, very good. We will continue here on Travel Show Live. The good news is. If you are thinking about cruising, we have the expert coming onto this program. Oh, he's the best. I love him. Stuart Sheeran will be here in a matter of moments on Travel Show Live. Stay with us.